Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use ConvertKit. ConvertKit is a powerful email marketing tool designed specifically for creators. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the main features of ConvertKit, including how to create and send broadcasts. So please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the ConvertKit tutorial. First, if you are new to the platform, you will need to sign up. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct sign up page. First, click on the Start Your Free Trial button. This will take you to a sign up page where you will need to provide some basic information, such as your name, email address, and password. Once you have entered this information, click on the Get Started button to proceed. The next step is to personalize your account by answering a few prompts. These prompts will help you set up your account in a way that is tailored to your needs. Once you have completed the sign-up process and personalized your account, you will be redirected to your dashboard. From here, you can start using ConvertKit to manage your email marketing campaigns and grow your audience. The dashboard is the hub for managing your email marketing efforts. When you first land on the dashboard, you'll see the navigation menu at the top, which includes various tabs for different functionalities. The navigation menu contains tabs such as Grow, Send, Automate, Earn, Learn, Notification Bar, and Profile. First I'll show you what you can actually find in ConvertKit, and then I will show you how you can use ConvertKit. The Grow tab is an essential tool for those who want to expand their email list and connect with a wider audience. This tab is further divided into four sections, Subscribers, Creator Profile, Landing Pages and Forms, and Creator Network. The first section is Subscribers. It provides you with a comprehensive overview of your subscribers and customers. Here you can browse through your list of subscribers and view their information and activity on your account. With this section, you can manage your subscribers effectively and tailor your email content to their preferences. The second section is Creator Profile. It is your hub on the internet. It is a one-stop shop for your subscribers to find all your content and products in one place. You can customize your profile by adding your logo, bio, and other relevant information. This section also provides you with valuable insights into how your subscribers interact with your content. The third section, Landing Pages and Forms, allows you to create and publish hosted landing pages or forms embedded on your website to gather subscribers. With this feature, you can easily design and publish forms to collect email addresses from potential subscribers. These landing pages and forms are hosted by ConvertKit and can be customized to fit your brand. Finally, the Creator Network section allows you to find other creators to partner with and grow your audience faster. You can browse through a list of creators and connect with those who share your interests and values. This feature is coming. This feature is a great way to collaborate and reach new audiences. The Send tab on ConvertKit's dashboard is a crucial tool that allows you to send emails to your audience effectively. This tab is further divided into four sections, Broadcasts, Email Templates, Sequences, and Snippets. The first section, Broadcasts, allows you to send emails to some or all of your audience, including your public feed. You can use this feature to send important announcements, updates, or promotions to your subscribers. With broadcasts, you can tailor your message to specific segments of your audience, making your emails more relevant and engaging. The second section, Email Templates, allows you to create email templates that you can use as a starting point for your emails. With this feature, you can save time by using pre-designed templates that fit your brand and style. You can customize these templates to match your message and branding and use them repeatedly. The third section, Sequences, enables you to create multiple emails that are sent in a specific order. You can set up automated sequences that are triggered when a subscriber signs up for your email list or completes a specific action. With sequences, you can create a series of emails that nurture your subscribers and guide them towards a specific goal. Finally, the Snippets section allows you to supercharge your emails with reusable blocks of content. You can create and save snippets of texts, email, and other content that you frequently use in your emails. This feature saves time by allowing you to insert these snippets quickly into your emails. 
The Automate tab is a powerful feature that helps you automate your email marketing campaigns. This tab is further divided into four sections, Visual Automation, Integrations, Rules, and RSS. The first section, Visual Automation, allows you to create powerful automated funnels for your audience. With this feature, you can set up custom workflows that automatically trigger email sequences based on subscriber behavior. You can use visual automation to send personalized messages to your subscribers, nurture new leads, and increase engagement and conversions. The second section, Integrations, allows you to connect your content with ConvertKit by integrating it with other apps. You can connect ConvertKit to various platforms such as Shopify, WordPress, and WooCommerce and sync your data seamlessly. This feature saves you time and streamlines your workflow by allowing you to automate your marketing campaigns across different platforms. The third section, Rules, allows you to set up automation rules to streamline your workflow further. You can create rules that automatically tag subscribers, apply specific sequences, or trigger custom events based on subscriber behavior. This feature enables you to create customized workflows that fit your unique marketing strategy. Finally, the RSS section allows you to automatically generate emails or digests when RSS feeds update. With this feature, you can automatically send your subscribers the latest blog posts, news articles, or other content from your RSS feed. This feature saves time and ensures that your subscribers are always up to date with your latest content. The Earn tab is designed to help you monetize your content and earn from your audience. It is further divided into three sections, products, tip jars, and payouts. The Products section allows you to sell digital products and content subscriptions directly to your audience. You can create and customize your product offerings, set your pricing, and manage your orders and payments all in one place. The Tip Jars section is a way for your audience to support you and your content by giving you a tip. It is an easy way for your audience to show their appreciation for your hard work and dedication. The Payouts section shows you a breakdown of all payouts you have received. This feature helps you keep track of your earnings and payments from ConvertKit. You can see the details of each payout, including the date, the amount, and the payment method. The Learn tab is a helpful resource for users who want to learn more about the platform and how to make the most of its features. It is divided into three sections, Documentation, Community, and Creator University. The documentation section provides users with a range of helpful articles and tutorials on various topics related to ConvertKit. Whether you're new to the platform or a seasoned user, you can find helpful information to improve your understanding and usage of ConvertKit's features. The community section is where users can interact with other users and ask questions. It is a valuable resource for users who want to learn from others and get advice on how to optimize their email marketing efforts. The Creator University section is where users can access in-depth courses to help them earn a living as a creator with ConvertKit. The courses cover a range of topics, from newsletters for creators to starting an online business. The Creator University courses are designed to help you grow your audience and monetize your content effectively. The Notification Bar allows you to receive important notifications and updates related to your account, such as new subscribers or successful broadcasts. The bar is always visible at the top of the dashboard, making it easy to stay up to date with your account activity. The Profile tab is where you can manage your account settings, including your login details and account preferences. You can also access the Help Center from this tab, where you can find answers to frequently asked questions, submit a support request, or chat with a ConvertKit representative. The Profile tab is essential for managing and maintaining your ConvertKit account, ensuring that you have the best experience possible. Now, to create a new broadcast in ConvertKit, click on Send Tab in the top navigation menu and then select Broadcasts. This will take you to another page where you will have to click on the Plus New Broadcast button, situated on the top right side of the page. After that, you can choose a template for your broadcast. You can either select a template from the available starting points or choose the one you designed earlier. Once you have made your choice, you will be directed to another page where you can start writing and designing your broadcast. In the broadcast editor, there are several sections you should pay attention to, and we will go through each of them here. 
First, you should fill out the subject line of your broadcast in the designated field. It is recommended to come up with an attractive subject line that will persuade your subscribers to open your email. Additionally, you can perform A-B testing of your subject lines by clicking on the A-B icon and filling out a second subject line. The email editor is where you will create the content of your broadcast. You can edit the email content, add images and captions, and customize the email template from the right sidebar. The sidebar contains three sections, email, body, and text. Under the email section, you can browse templates, change the background color, and preview your email. In the body section, you can change the background color, making it transparent, change the background image, adjust the space between sections, and customize the border and its color. Finally, the text section allows you to change the fonts, font size, and color of your text. Once you have designed your broadcast and are ready to send it, click on the Continue button at the bottom right of your screen. This will take you to a new page where you can choose to send the email to all subscribers or use filters to send it to specific subscribers. This level of customization ensures that your message reaches the right people. In addition to choosing specific subscribers to receive your email, you can also choose a specific date to send the email. This can be done by clicking on the Send Now button and selecting a specific date for your email to be sent. Under the Advanced section, you can add preview text and internal notes to your email. This helps to give recipients a quick glimpse of the content of the email and encourage them to open it. Adding internal notes can also be useful for team collaboration or future reference. If you want to post the email to your public feed, simply click on the toggle button next to Post to my public feed. You can also preview your email before sending it by clicking on the Preview button located on the left side of the screen. This ensures that you can double check the email's contents and layout before it is sent to your subscribers. Finally, once you are confident that your email is ready to be sent, click on the Continue button to send it. With ConvertKit's user-friendly interface and various customization options, you can send personalized and effective emails to your subscribers with ease. And that's it. You can sign up by using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you! And thank you for watching my tutorial on how to use ConvertKit. I hope that you found it helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.